spinning circles in my head. What's up guys? Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For you guys who are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe before we even start this madness. Today, what we are going to be talking about, what we, who are we, me, I am. We're going to be doing a hair journal for today's video. And this video is going to consist on how to get a perfect fringe. Yes, you heard it first. You heard it here. How to get a perfect fringe. For you guys who have wavy thick hair, you guys know that sometimes your fringe is just a mess and it does whatever it wants to do depending on the day and the weather. But for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a smooth and a nice fringe using heat and a round brush comb. Because for those of you who don't wanna use a flat iron, a round brush comb and a blow dryer is gonna be your best friend. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get a perfect fringe using a round brush comb and some heat. Right now, my hair is completely dry and I'm gonna be using the round brush comb to get some heat to make my hair a little bit more manageable, to make it a little bit more pliable because I just blow dried it before I got out of the shower. So for you guys who have the shampooing questions of how many, how many days a week do I shampoo my hair, I do it about twice a week. It depends on what product I'm using. Uh, I usually do it at nighttime because I take a shower at night and in the morning. So I shampoo at nighttime when I wake up in the morning. It's nice and and I uh, just don't shampoo in the morning and I blow dry. Now, a lot of the times you don't want to use a flat iron. I don't want to use a flat iron, so I use the blow dryer and a round brush comb. And this creates the same effect that a flat iron would and a little bit better because it's a little bit more natural. We're only going to focus on the fringe front portion of our hair right here because that's the most important part. Because I have wavy, thick hair, I'm gonna use that to my advantage. You can too, and let that sit and fall natural so it could create some volume and texture. Let's go ahead and begin this process. You're gonna need a blow dryer and a round brush comb. A thermal activated round brush comb is always better. Let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the blow dryer is about two to five inches away from your hair uh, so it won't burn it. and. After I'm done using the round brush comb, I use the cold setting after to just kind of toss all your hair up a little bit and shape it. fringe is a little bit more straight it's still wavy it has a natural wave it's just a little bit more manageable and not as thick and I have a huge calic right here so I make sure I brush that forward I brush it up and I kind of straighten that calic out so my hair won't just be on this side and it's gonna also help me create more volume since it's on the opposite side of my head going this way and my hair is falling this way now it creates more volume so if you have a calic don't try to cut it off because then so now that my hair is nice and manageable, I left the texture behind the fringe so it could help me with the volume and now my hair is a little bit more manageable. The fringe looks a little bit more, the fringe is straight. I'm gonna add some product to make my hair look even better. Since I have a straight fringe now and I have volume to mess with, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go for a very matte finished product. I want it to look natural as possible and just kind of messy and tousled. And I am gonna be using the American Crew Fiber some product. Boom. So I'm just going to go for a very natural look. I don't want my hair to be very stiff. I want it to have a natural texture to it. I want it to have I want it to have some movement and I also want to be able to kind of play with my hair as I go along with my day. If you are interested in seeing the haircut that I have, which is very versatile because I could literally do whatever I want with it, you could see the video right up here. So luckily if you have wavy hair, we're always gonna have that natural volume slash texture. And when we learn how to manage our fringe, we could do a lot of hairstyles that are pretty cool because we're always gonna have that natural volume in the back of our hair and around our hair. So when we learn to manage the front, the fringe of the hair, we can manipulate that to create sick hairstyles. I've been rocking my hair sometimes forward like this, throwing the fringe over my forehead and just leaving it kind of like having that like soccer player vibe and I could also throw it up or I could throw it to the opposite side and part it and go like this with my day. Knowing how to manipulate your fringe is very important and also using the right product is very important. I use 
I didn't use too much American Crew Fiber because like I said, I wanted to manipulate my hair throughout the day. But as you can see by doing this process, I did three hairstyles into one. So let me know which one you guys like the most. And like I said, knowing how to manipulate your fringe is probably like the most important aspect of your hair because even if it's messy on the sides, you could just kind of comb that or fix that. Use product to hold the sides down or whatever, but the fringe is what's gonna kind of like shape your face a little bit more and allow the actual style to be perceived as whatever style that you need it to be. So nice wealthy healthy fringe takes you a long way my friend <laughs> so there you guys have it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative uh i will put down below where you guys where you guys could get a round brush comb which is probably the most important and also a blow dryer is very important because you're going to want to make sure you have the directional funnel at the end and also a pretty strong blow dryer because i know that i've used a weak blow dryer before and it doesn't do the same thing so a nice blow dryer and a round brush comb will be a good investment for your hair goals i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for signing up on my youtube channel this week don't forget to subscribe down below and also if you guys have any questions let me know down below and i will support you in any way shape or form also guys my snapchat and instagram my snapchat is public so if you guys want to chat with me on snapchat go ahead and do so and my instagram as well it's public and you guys could check out all my styles and travels and whatever i do my stories i usually upload every day so thank you guys so much for stopping by my youtube channel don't forget to put style on everything i will see you guys next week with another great video subscribe baby